Hi there and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to uh, share with you my first harvest of radishes. So these radishes I've been growing hydroponically using the Kraki method. So they are growing in water. I had used a perlite as the medium that I uh, started these in. It's been about, I think, 25 days since, since I planted them and they are looking like they're bursting out of this container. So we are going to harvest them, give them a taste, and uh, hopefully they're gonna be good. So I'm also going to try planting up some more. So stay tuned and let's start harvesting some radishes. So I wanted to make sure that you can see the camera here, how big they are getting. It looks like they've you know, got some nice ball shaped size to them. At least some of them do. I can't recall how many I planted. I think there was nine seeds. So I, as I said, this batch of lettuce and radishes in this container, I used for the first time perlite as my uh, medium to plant these in. And I really did not like it. As you can see, it's spilt all over when I was spritzing these to kind of keep them moist, kind of splatters this perlite all over the place and um, didn't really hold the, the plants very firmly because I noticed my one lettuce here kind of came loose. So it's not a very good growing medium and I won't use it again. But it looks like we have some radishes here and I am going to just pull them all out. We'll check out the size and have a taste. So I said, I think I planted about nine of them. So it's not super huge. That one definitely not very big. Not sure I could have maybe left them longer and let them uh, fill out a bit more. The leaves were starting to block out the light on the other lettuces in this container so I thought maybe it was time to harvest. That's just a skinny little one. These are not bad. Almost better luck than I have outdoors in this in the summer. I have a hard time growing radishes outdoors. They seem, seem to get uh, woody or get wormy really fast. So these ones Looking not too bad So as you can see the perlite is sticking to the roots and this is going to be an ugly mess to clean up So I think the next batch I'm going to use something different to plant these in So I'm just gonna clean these up and we will cut one up and have a taste. Okay, so I have these radishes all washed up now and here they are. So they are beautiful. I'm really happy with, you know, the size of these and the roots are nice and healthy looking. They have nice green stalks on them. So I'm definitely going to keep growing these again. So I thought we will uh, try tasting them first of all to see if they, how they taste. Um, these are a heirloom radish seed called a scarlet globe. They are 20 to 25 days from seed to harvest and they are supposed to be crisp and crunchy uh, with a delicate flavor. So let's give it a try. I'm going to take the very best one and try it out. My husband likes to eat these just, you know, raw with a meal. I like to have them in my green salads, in my potato salad or macaroni salad. Okay. So the inside is nice and white. See that? We'll give it a try. Not bad. There's not a lot of, um, they're not very spicy or hot like some 
some radishes are they're quite um, mild tasting a little bit sweet and um, not even a really strong uh, spicy aftertaste that you sometimes get when you have radishes so not bad so I also have this kind of radish seed here that um, is I think by the description here would be a little more of a spicy type radish it's, it says it's for the spicy individual so these are called the sparkler white tip so I think the next round I'm going to try planting these and see how they taste as I said this one is pretty mild and not really um, not really a whole lot of flavor so like I say it's not bad but it's not it's not what I expected the radish to be I thought it would be a little bit more bite to it but anyways these are going to go into the next salad very excited and so I'm going to clean up this container and as you can see I I have lettuces going in this container as well that I planted the same time as the radishes so they are still growing obviously and have a ways to go so I'm going to try and clean up this container like I said I will not use perlite anymore for my crack key hydroponics I'm going to probably work with um, some hydrogen clay balls on the base of the container with um, some coca core as the growing medium to grow the next round of radishes um, okay so i have this all ready now to plant up some more radish seeds um, i've actually took a couple of these that weren't doing so well in the perlite the lettuces that i had going here so i took them out as well i also um, dumped out the water just because there was so much perlite and stuff floating in there it was just driving me crazy i didn't want to keep looking at that mess so i refreshed the water and the nutrients that i put in here are the root farm two-part so the base and the all-purpose is what i usually use for my lettuces and i've always had really good success with that so we're going to try the spicy or uh, sparkler white tip this time and as I was uh, cleaning this up and munching on the rest of those radish, that radish that I had cut up, it actually did start to leave kind of a nice spicy aftertaste. So they are, they did have a bit of a bite to them, but it just, uh, just didn't hit you quite as fast as sometimes radishes can. So I'm going to go with the same number of seeds in here. I'm going to try and jam in about nine or ten. So as I said, I got a, a couple inches of the clay balls in this um, cup and then the rest is coconut core. Okay, so I think I did not keep track, but I think I planted about 10. So I've just used an, uh, a seedling pot that I you know, got from the nursery with a with the seedling plant cut some extra slits on the side so that it absorbs water it's got lots of holes on the bottom so these are romaine lettuce that i have started on this side i'm going to plant up a, some butter crunch lettuce in these two containers here so usually morning and night until these germinate and start getting some roots that are reaching the water i just keep the uh, top moist with a spray bottle so check on it day and night give it a good soaking so this is going to grow under the grow lights now I believe these are also 25 days to maturity so keep checking back on future videos to see how these uh, radishes turn out